What's up guys, it's Brent Likens Motorsports. The question of the day is, should you degree your camshaft? I get this question asked me all the time. Uh, I sell people cams and they always email and say, hey, do I need to degree this in? The answer is yes. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, so hit that subscribe button, no. Uh, so let's go over the reasons why uh, you should degree your cam in. All right, the obvious first reason is to just make sure that the cam grinder ground the cam the way that it should be. So when I specify a camshaft, I always give um, the, the intake lobe, the exhaust lobe, um, the lobe separation angle, and the intake center line. So I do all of that with a purpose, and this is where I want uh, 109 on this one. On this cam, I wanted it on a 104. So um, we degree the cams to make sure that the cam was ground correctly. The second reason is here's your keyway on your crank. You know, everything has a manufacturing tolerance to it. Who says the keyway couldn't be out of spec a little bit? Who says that your timing set? The keyway or the way that they etch or engrave these marks is not uh, incorrect or if you're using an adjustable uh, timing set you want to make sure that everything is on the up and up so it's not always the cam's fault sometimes it's a tolerance stack between the crank between the cam between the timing set there's several different factors there so yes you should always degree your cam in to make sure that everything is kosher. All right, so while we're on the topic of all this, uh, one of my biggest pet peeves is uh, when guys line up the dots on the timing set and say the cam is installed straight up. That is, uh, it's just not correct. Um, the true definition of if a cam is installed straight up or not is if the cam has zero degrees advance or zero degrees retard in it it means that whatever lobe separation angle the cam is ground at that's what the intake center line is and at the same time that's what's going to be the exhaust center line so everything is straight up so <clears throat> if you are guilty of lining up the dots on your timing set and then telling everybody that it's the cams installed straight up, shame on you. Uh, it is not correct. And um, I, I've heard engine builders say this. Um, I have heard zero cam grinders say this. And as a matter of fact, when I sent orders in to whoever <clears throat> I have grind the cam that I'm working on, if it's my intention to not have any uh, retard or advance in that cam, I'll just put the LSA in the in the notation and say straight up. And the cam grinder knows to not put any advance or retard in that. So we're gonna go through some scenarios so that you guys can, can fully understand this. Um, so I've got um, one, two, three, four scenarios. So here, I'm gonna put them up on the screen. All right, so Here's the scenario, the first one. You have degreed a cam, and it's a 112 lobe separation angle with a 108 intake center line. The timing set is dot to dot with zero advance and zero retard on the keyway. Is it installed straight up? If you say yes, then you are incorrect. It is not installed straight up because the intake center line does not equal the lobe separation angle. All right, second scenario. You have degreed a cam and it's a 118 lobe separation angle and the intake center line is on a 118. The timing set is in a two degrees advanced position. Is it installed 
straight up. If you say yes, then you are correct. All right, third scenario. You have degreed a cam, and it's a 109 lobe separation angle with a 109 intake center line. The timing set is dot to dot with the keyway, zero advance, zero retard position. Is it installed straight up? If you said yes, then you are correct. Okay, last one. So what about this? The cam card says the cam is ground on a 106 lobe separation angle and has four degrees of advance ground into the cam. You put your timing set on with the keyway on the four degrees whoops, four degrees retarded position. And when you degree it like that, the LSA is 106 and the intake center line is 106. Is it installed straight up? If you said yes, then you were correct. So the timing set does not make any difference whatsoever. The only time that you guys should be using the term straight up is if you have degreed the cam and where it's currently installed, the lobe separation angle equals the intake center line equals the exhaust center line. In fact, I'd really uh, rather you not even use the term dot to dot because that could be any position. So I can go dot to dot there, I can go dot to dot there, I can go dot to dot right there. Uh, it could be any of these. Instead, it would be better nomenclature to say that you installed the timing set in a two degree retarded keyway and the cam is at this intake center line. All right, does that make sense? All right, so if you have been guilty of that in the past, it's okay. Don't badmouth me, don't call me a milk cow, don't uh, you know say this is the way that we did it 40 years ago, it doesn't matter. This is the correct nomenclature and everybody will look up to you when you say it the right way. All right, now is the time to end the video. Thank you guys for hanging in there. Hopefully this helps you out, just a little bit more tools to put in your toolbox that the next time you order a cam, you can tell them you want it um, two degrees, four degrees, six degrees, eight degrees, advanced, retarded, or you want it straight up. And if that's, the des that's your desired position, that's the way you want the cam ground, then when you degree the cam, you make sure that it's installed straight up. Doesn't matter if the keyway is in a completely different position um, altogether. It doesn't matter. Just as long as the intake center line meets or it equals the lobe separation angle, um, that, that's what constitutes straight up. Hope you guys are having a good week. Thank you for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I'll see you soon.